Hello guys, welcome back. This is part 2 of RMI. In this, we'll see what are the steps to implement RMI. Now see, when you talk about the implementation, we have, we require some, uh, some agreement between a client machine and a server machine. And that agreement is like, uh, on a client side, just uh, like example, when you have this, uh, we have these two machines, we have machine 1 and machine 2. In some reference, we can say this machine is client and this machine will be server because the implementation that is this your object is stored on server side and the uh, the request will be sent from client machine right so this obj.show will be sent from client machine to a server machine for this we require some agreement between these two and that is a client will have something called a stub and server will have something called a skeleton so this is your stub uh, so this is your stub And this part, and this part will be your skeleton. Okay, so we have this agreement between a client and a server with the help of stub and skeleton. And to implement, to work with this, the first step you have to create a remote interface. So first step is to create a create the remote interface. Next step we have is to provide the implementation. We have to provide the implementation of that interface. So we'll say implementation of remote interface. The third step we have to go for, we have to compile these files. We have to compile this file and then we have to create, this is the first step compile and then you have to create stub and skeleton out of that uh, implementation so we have to say stub and skeleton now the software or tool we have to use here is rmic which is your rmi compiler it will create your stub and it will create a skeleton next step you have to create the registry again we'll see why we require registry here afterwards and then we'll <coughs> excuse me and then we'll create a we'll create a server and we'll start the server. Okay, so start server. Again, ignore the background sound. It's my nephew who is making this sound. So please ignore. And then we'll uh, then we'll create a client and we'll start the client or client application. So these are the steps we have to follow. First, we have to create a remote interface. Then we have to uh, we have to provide the implementation. Then we have to compile. Then we have to start the registry. Then we have to start with the server and then we'll go for the client machine. Now question arise, why we require this registry here? So in this example, we have this implementation here, right? So there, there, is, there are chances that we have lots of objects here. So there are chances we'll be having three objects, right? Then question arise, if a client call show, which show it should call? Because we are not going for the address here. We will not focus on address. We'll be focused only on objects. And that's why every object will have a caption or you can say a global name. Like this object will have uh, A, this object will have C, this object will have B. Now these are their names, right? And this name need to be registered in a regist registry. So there will be a table here, somewhere here, a table. Like there will be a table somewhere here. And in this table, what you will have is uh, this will record all the entries like uh, object 102 object 102 here will have a name a object uh, 103 will be having a name b so that in future if a stub calls for the object it will not use the address it will not use the name or it will not use the object name it will use the caption or you can say a global name so next time a stub want to access this object 102 it will use this caption as A and that caption is stored in this registry and that's why we have to start this registry and the tool name here will be your RMI registry. Uh oh, it's registry. So we have to first step we have to create a re remote interface then we have to provide the implementation then we have to compile the implementation and it will create stub and skeleton with the help of rmic tool and then we have to start with registry then we have to start the server and then the client this is how you have to implement rmi 
again the practical example of this that we'll see in the next part uh, thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos